When we created Stem and Hints, what we had was a natural aquatic botanical called Aphenizomenon flasacqua, in short AFA. And people consuming AFA were reporting uh, all kinds of benefits, a broad variety of benefits. What could be this one thing that the product would do in the body that could lead to such a broad variety of, of, of effects? Uh, so for many years it was a mystery, until early 2000 with the discovery of the natural role of stem cells in the body. What was discovered was that adult stem cells from the bone marrow can leave the bone marrow, go in the blood, and from the blood could then migrate in various tissues, and as they do so, they renew and repair tissues of the body. So if we have a product that can support the natural release of stem cells from the bone marrow and put more stem cells in circulation in the bloodstream, and as they migrate in someone's liver, that person has improvements in liver function. If they migrate in someone else's pancreas, that person has improvements in pancreatic function. So we would expect that if a product supports the natural release of stem cells from the bone marrow, we would expect to obtain a broad variety of health benefits. And that's what we add with AFA. So we hypothesized maybe the mechanism of action of AFA is that it supports the natural release of stem cells from the bone marrow. And we finally demonstrated that that's how AFA is working. It supports natural release of stem cells from the bone marrow. Then we developed a concentrate from AFA, and that's what we had with stem enhance. Now, having developed all the methods and the protocols to do all of this, uh, it was very difficult for me to believe that there would be in the whole wide world of plants only one product, one natural compound having an effect on stem cells. There had to be others. So we used these methods and then asked the question, what else do we know in nature today that historically has been documented or has been known to have a broad variety of benefits? And we studied many, many plants and we discovered specifically two having an effect on stem cells, just like AFA, two plants that support the natural release of stem cells from the bone marrow. The first one is Ficoidan, from one specific seaweed called Onderia pinatifida. Ficoidan is a broad class of polysaccharides. Every single seaweed has its own Ficoidan. Uh, but all Ficoidans are not equal. We tested many of them, and they're all having different effects on the body. Only one of them was shown to have an effect on, uh, in terms of supporting the natural release of stem cells from the bone marrow. It is Ficoidan from Onderia pinatifida. After consumption, we could document that there is an increase in the number of stem cells, but very different from stem enhance. The effect is much slower, but is lasts much longer. After three, four uh, hours, the number of stem cells is still climbing in the bloodstream. So by blending the two, stem enhance and Ficoidan, we can get both an early release of stem cells and an effect that lasts much longer. But then we found another one, and that, the story behind this one is very, very interesting. It is Fotai. It's a Chinese herb. In Chinese medicine, uh, everybody has heard of the qi, which is this energy in the body. But there's another concept that relates also to energy, which is the jing. Uh, it's very well known in modern Chinese medicine, but in ancient Chinese medicine, the concept of jing was a little bit different. There were the primordial jing that is there at conception that leads to the development of the human body. And after birth, there's another jing that is left over. And that one, in the life of an individual, plays a very important role in healing, regeneration, repair, rejuvenation. So when you think about it, in ancient Chinese medicine, the concept of jing was very, very similar to what is embryonic stem cells and adult stem cells. So we simply hypothesized that the jing probably in ancient medicine was referring to stem cells. So we went back in today's Chinese medicine and looked at what are these herbs used today to support the jing, and there are not that many. So we went in the lab and we studied them and we found that one of them, Fotai, uh, exactly does that. It supports natural release of stem cells from the bone marrow. So by blending all of these together, stem and ends, Ficoidan from Anderia pinatifida and Fotai in very specific proportions. We played with many of them, but one specific blend gave us a very, very interesting outcome, and that's what SE2 is. SE2 triggers this very quick release of stem cells like stem enhance, but the release lasts much longer, which is what we got uh, the effect of, of Ficoidan. So as we develop SE2. We played with various prototypes and we shared these prototypes with a number of, of individuals. On the basis of all, all that data, we were already expecting to get something in effect superior to stem in it. 
But all I can say is that what we got was just beyond everything that we had expected. Uh, with SE2, the effect that we're getting is telling us that we have here a product that is truly a game changer. It's just bringing the whole world of stem cell enhancement to a whole new level. This product is truly uh, the new generation in terms of stem cell enhancers.